name is Sunny Johnson. I'm a host of Sunny's Corner. Uh, I am probably the most Trumpish out of everybody in this room, so you're gonna, you're gonna have to forgive me. Um, the black community is not doing okay. Like, I, I understand the perspective and the, result, uh, the desire to put out this talking point, but it's not, okay? And I can do it in a simplistic way of just saying, what are the first things you did when you first came into, into uh, the presidency? The very first things you did was like remove regulation and taxation at high levels. Think about the black community that has been under democratic rule, progressive rule for 60 years. How many rules, how many regulations, how many different forms of taxation are on the books in those areas that are preventing our communities from actually being able to see sustainable growth that we can keep and get ourselves out of this uh, tread of generational poverty. We are not okay when it comes to things like education because we are not able to get quality uh, choice into our communities because we don't have any position or power upon our school boards to be able to fight for those things and not just to get charters in, but to also bring some kind of reformation to the public school system as it stands too. So yes, as well as criminal justice reform and a lot of other things as well as health and things we could put uh, down the list. All of these things have been under democratic control for 60 years and they are not gonna change until you, we have a Republican party that is willing to go into these communities and actually offer a choice to these people about how how we can do things differently. Because the way it is structured now, the only choice that we get is left or either further left. And we're not getting the opportunity to actually vote on what we look at as conservatism equally applied. Sure. The, the very basic economic principles that we on the right say are significant in our success and seeing the success in our country, those are not being offered at the local level in black communities. So basically, we're asking to grow out of concrete because we don't have the fertile soil in these areas to make everything flourish and bloom the way my generation would like to see it. So I think the numbers and statistics about my generation are not gonna be out for 20 years. You're not gonna see that we have started to change the dynamic within families. We have started to change the dynamic within marriage. We have started to change a lot of the negative dynamics that are still brought up in statistics today involving us. Our generation is working on making sure those things change. And nobody looks at us and sees the power we have to be effective in making change this generation and not just waiting for the next layer of statistics to come out. So until we can actually get a INS dialogue on the right out into the ether, then you're gonna keep on having you know, the fake news media spread lies because we aren't there giving a, a, another choice as to how these things could be done. And it's going to continue to go left if we aren't there giving an option to make it go right. And that's like the biggest thing that um, we are having trouble with on the right is like understanding how government works we are a republic, that means local government has the most power over citizens' lives, as well as how to take that and put it into a cohesive message that can be spread to the black community that will already engage upon what we already know. If we looked at like the, the photos of you uh, before you became president and you were taking pictures with Snoop and you were taking pictures with all the icons of hip hop, you did that, I think, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but you did that because you saw capitalists, you saw branders, you saw entrepreneurs, you saw people that were willing to take a chance and make things grow. That is, that is us, that is the black community. And I would like to see a challenge from you to see how many in the black community can put their names on the side of a building coming out of this. If we're really gonna reshape and reform the way that we do this, issue that challenge because that's what we need more now than ever. And we need it to be focused and centric on the black community, not into letting people come in and gentrify areas that are traditionally ours. And you don't need